give you my card on the plane? I just got back from being with the troops in Afghanistan. You see me on the plane? Yeah. Say hi to my friend, Pastor John. He's in Hawaii too. But Keep in touch, okay? Fine. You have my card. I will. Tell us how long you've served again. Twenty-four years. Twenty-four years. You're home on R and R. Two weeks, and I'll be back. <laughs> it's in Iraq. Going back to Iraq, right? Yep. Okay. Hopefully, I'll link up with you there when I head over there. Enjoy your time off. Did you get my card on the plane? I did. Okay. So I'll be on the internet in about three weeks. videos how much these men and women have been helping in Afghanistan. Planning on going back to Iraq early late June or early July and then back over to Afghanistan. So I'll be on the internet in about three weeks. Oh, right, right, I just okay. got back from being with the troops Thank in Afghanistan. Good to be back. Share with us who you are and why you're out here. Pardon me? Can you share who you are and why you're out here? I'm Joe Schneider and I'm out here to greet the troops. And you're obviously an Air Force veteran. Right? Air Force veteran, eight years. And I call here every day. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for what you're all doing here. Especially on short notice on this flight. Bye, 
finally got home. I just thought we'd never get off that home. Have a good R and R. Once again, folks, I'm Bob Calvert, your host, TalkingWithHeroes.com. And thank you for your service, that uh, U.S. news site. I want to once again thank the sponsors of those who made this trip possible to Afghanistan. Rob Brazell with ReturnToWork.org, BlackHawk.com, Anthony with FreedomHunters.org, NewsBlaze.com, Bill with FiveJump.com, Sportsman's Warehouse in Colorado Springs, Eric Chi in Olathe, Kansas, Colin Clark, Elizabeth, Colorado, Debbie Gregory, MilitaryConnection.com, SoldiersAngels.org, the Chief Warrant Officer Retired, Dennis McCormick, Colorado Springs. I am Bob Calvert, your host. This ends our 2010 first trip to Afghanistan, ending here at Dallas, Fort Worth Airport, welcoming the troops home. And uh, so now you've watched another video. We're asking you to please share it. Well, then we want to do something real quick. We want to go over here to two young ladies that are known as the Kissing Grandmas. <laughs> I happen to spot you all coming out. We, I had you on film here back in 2007, if you remember. Right. Why don't you share with our viewers again who you both are and why you come out here like you do. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm Linda Tennerman. I live in Grand Prairie, and I come out because I love the troops. They're our kids, grandkids. And we love them. And I'm Connie Carmen, and I come out here because it's an honor and privilege to uh, be here to welcome these kids coming in. They've been through a whole lot. How many years have you both been doing this? Um, five and a half. Five and a half yeah. years. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, you're getting well known around the country. The soldiers come home and tell about you. Your, your name, they call you the Kissing Grandmas, is that right? Hugging and Kissing Hugging Grandmas. Hugging and Kissing Grandmas, because yeah. you give so many hugs. Well, it, it's a joy and a privilege and an honor to do it, really. Yeah. Right? I appreciate how you all came out in such short notice because this flight was delayed over and over and over again. We, were, we weren't sure we were ever going to get home. You know, like, um, with the volcano and all that, but you're still here. We just had to keep checking, yep. checking yep. the flight, see what time it was coming in, or keep calling. They kept changing the time on us too. But yep. What would you like to say to the men and women who are still serving over in Iraq and Afghanistan and around the world? I want you to know that my prayers are with you each and every day. And thank you. Thank you so much. Great way to end this segment with both of you. Thank you, thank you very we much. Appreciate you guys. Thank yeah, and I'll give you my card again in just a second. Okay. Okay, once again, folks, we're going to end another segment, the final program on this embed to Afghanistan on talkingwithheroes.com. You've watched this program. Now we're asking you, as we've done on all our interviews in Afghanistan, please share this and all the programs from Afghanistan with as many people as you can. Let's start with a million and let's grow from there. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless America. God bless America. I had a request to do something with Boomer, and who are you that's going to take us out there again? My name is Dawn, and Boomer is a... Boomer's the dog, okay. and he greets all the troops as they come out. Okay, let's go out here okay. then. Are they right outside here? He's right outside this door. Okay, let's go outside here and see Boomer. Where is he? Okay, let's talk to Boomer. Okay. Hi, Boomer. How you doing? <laughs> you want to be on camera? Boomer. Hey, Boomer. Say hi to people. He says, I'll lick your yeah. lens. You're on camera. Boomer, hey. You welcome our troops? Boomer, come here. Hi, hey, Boomer. Hi, Boomer. Come here. Tell us about Boomer. Can you tell, us, can you tell us about him? Pardon me? Can you tell us about Boomer? Well, he, he was rescued about four years ago from going to the pound. And uh, we brought him out here when he's a year old. He loved the troops, so he's been coming ever since. He's probably, hey. got, he's probably got a good hundred visits in. <laughs> Let me swing around here. And he's a certified therapy hey, dog. You need to get started hey. fighting. For PTSD? For, uh, uh, no, he can go anywhere he wants to, like a, a hospital, nursing home. And Sammy, that, that gentleman's waiting. Tell us who you both are. 
This is, this I'm is Jane here. Moore, and I'm Sam Moore. Okay, you're on a talk show called TalkingWithHeroes.com. All right. I just got back from being with the troops in Afghanistan. <laughs> Great, right. thank you. I was on the plane with them. We, we weren't cool. sure when we were getting back. So I'm, I'm really okay. glad how you all turned out on such short notice. It's an honor and to be here. It's our pleasure, believe me. Thank you. Bye, yes. Boomer. Bye. Okay, that gentleman needs to ride. Okay. Need All right. to go. Thank you, folks. We're gonna we're gonna sign off now. God bless you. Okay, folks. Well, we're back one more time, then we're gonna close this program. We're with uh, Sergeant Major Allen, who's uh, with the DFW PAP, right? Yes. Military Assistance. Um, why don't you tell our listeners first of all, people watch us a little bit about yourself, how long you served? Well, basically, um, I joined the military in 1982 uh, as a signal. In the signal MOS, and uh, now I'm in the transportation arena. So I'm here at the Dallas Fort Worth Airport, where I'm the non commissioned officer in charge of the Dallas Fort Worth Airport uh, Army Rest and Recuperation Program, uh, ran by the Department of Army G1 and uh, United States Army Human Resources Command. And we have the obligation and the privilege, I should say, of bringing home R and R soldiers and DOD personnel on flights daily so they can enjoy their two weeks of leave time with their family and loved ones. And it's an honorable position to serve and I really enjoy it. Uh, it's a good thing to see a service member come home and spend some time with their, their kids. And, and I like to see the kids when they run up to their mothers and fathers and they greet them and you see the tears and you know, being a parent myself, it just makes me think how important uh, my duty is here. And, and the quality assurance to make sure that these personnel get home ex expeditiously and with the quality that they deserve to be treated like the heroes that they are. That's great. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it's fascinating to me is usually there's hundreds of people here, but because of how many times this flight was delayed, there wasn't as many, but the people that were here made an extra effort to find out when right. this plane was landing. Right, Talk right, about that. right. Well, you know, we have people coming in to greet the troops on a daily basis. Uh, rain, sleet, or snow, it doesn't stop them. They, they come as far away as sometimes 50 miles away. We have uh, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, celebrities, business leaders, uh, community supporters, corporate sponsors, you name it, they come out here. And I mean, the patriotism is overwhelming, I should say, and the troops have no idea that when they come around that corner that all these people are out here waiting to greet them. So they have a sense of uh, a huge element of surprise once they see everybody. So it's like coming to a pep rally every single day when I come to work. So I can't have a bad day, I should say. Great. Thank you very much, sir. And thank you right, for thank you. getting me off the plane so quick so I can video this for everybody to watch. Yeah, my pleasure. Okay, thank All you right. very thank much. You, sir. Okay. okay, once again, folks, we're, now we're going to close this program for sure. And again, uh, share these videos with as many people as you can. We're on TalkingWithHeroes.com. And thank you for your service, .us. On Facebook, we're Facebook.com slash TalkingWithHeroes. Thank you very much. God bless you.